Hi, thanks for joining me today. This is Amy at amycommonsetsouthern.com. And today I'd like to get started on that HelloFresh box that I got yesterday after six. I didn't wanna get out into that last night because I already had my meal planned, so I thought I would wait until tonight. I'm having a decidedly better hair day today with makeup that I've had on since about seven o'clock this morning and I've been in meetings all day and this is what's left. And so I wanna make really clear that I'm trying to be as real with you as possible and this is what I look like after I've been um, at it for um, almost 12 hours. So we're gonna get into this HelloFresh box and start with the pork cutlet meal. And what I'd like to do with the nutrition information is see if just putting the nutrition information that comes for this recipe on the website into the points calculator, if I come up with the same thing that I would come up with if I didn't have that nutrition information and I just bought stuff from the grocery store and tried to figure out the points myself. Um, also note that uh, when you get the nutrition information off HelloFresh, it doesn't include um, the points or it doesn't include the nutrition information for extra things you need like butter and oil. So um, I'm gonna have to figure in for that also. And the reason why I'm interested in doing this, and it may not be as applicable with the pork cutlet as maybe the fish or the chicken one, because when you do the, the chicken meals um, or the fish meals, remember on Weight Watchers, those are zero points. So I wanna see if when we have the nutrition information that includes all of the calories and everything from that meat, do you come out with the same points values? And when I started on Weight Watchers back in 2015, I believe we were on um, either Smart Points or Points Plus. I'm sure someone will correct me if I've got that wrong, but I was on a plan and it's changed so many times. And now it's, even since I've stopped losing weight with Weight Watchers, um, I know that they're doing the Weight Watchers Reimagined now, and I've really been doing maintenance and I, I use my Weight Watchers account now more for um, if I want to know just how many points are in something or if I'm going to have a situation where I, I really do want to track points, you know, for a week or so to maybe rein things in a little bit, I can. So I really use my account more as a research tool now and use that recipe builder more than I do track every single point. But I was vigilant in uh, tracking points when I lost all my weight. And so um, I'm not discouraging anyone from tracking. You definitely should if you're in weight loss mode. Even if you're in maintenance mode, you should if that's what works for you. So I'm back in the kitchen and I've got everything out to get started on the uh, rosemary pork cutlet. So when you get your box, you have the uh, information sheets that look like this um, for each one. So you get a picture of what it's supposed to look like and all of the directions are on the back. And I found the nutrition information though online. So I've got my computer right in front of me. And so, what I did as a little experiment before I got started, I thought I'm gonna compare, if I go online to the HelloFresh website and get all of the nutrition information and put that into a points calculator, what am I gonna get? Versus if I go into Recipe Builder and track this the way I would, counting things like individual ingredients the way they count in Weight Watchers, what would the differences be? So here are the pork cutlets and um, I counted this as pork tenderloin also when I did the individual um, ingredient point counts. And th this is a 12 ounce package. And so since this is a box for two, you're actually getting like six ounces. So here are my calculations. When I looked at all the ingredients um, as to uh, what do they count normally in Weight Watchers and put all this in the recipe builder, plus I added in the um, extra ingredients because it says you're gonna to have to supply your own olive oil and your own butter. So I took half of the olive oil and half of the butter that it said because it said you need to supply um, one tablespoon of olive oil. So I calculated for half and I guess I could have put the whole thing in the recipe builder and said serves two, but I just wasn't thinking about that when I did it. And then two tablespoons of butter. So with half of a tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of butter and then putting it into the recipe builder and just going by what things actually count in a recipe. Um, I actually came up with this being a 20 point meal. So 20 points per person. That's a lot. That's a lot on Weight Watchers for a meal. Um, I don't know how I feel about 20 points for dinner on just Tuesday. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. But then uh, when I, it was actually worse when I took the nutrition information straight from the HelloFresh website and added in or, or put that into the points calculator on Weight Watchers, I got uh, 26 points. And then another two points for one half tablespoon of olive oil and uh, five points for an additional tablespoon of butter for a total of 33 points. 
So if you are trying to do HelloFresh and you're doing Weight Watchers, you might want to think about how you calculate the points. You can either go by the nutrition values for the recipe on the website and I got a higher points value um, versus a lower points value um, when I just put the ingredients into Recipe Builder. I think you would even see a more drastic difference if you were doing a fish or a chicken recipe because pork does actually have some points in Weight Watchers. Um, I think this six ounces, and I just said pork tenderloin because I didn't know what else in there to put it in, uh, was three points versus if this had been chicken or fish, it probably, or chicken breast or fish, this probably would have been zero. So um, that's something to think about. Regardless of whether it's 20 points or 33, that's a lot for a Weight Watchers dinner. I will put all of those calorie counts in the description box. Give me a thumbs up if you like more of these videos and I will make sure that I put a picture of the final product um, at the end of the video. So thank you for watching and have a good day. And again, thanks for staying with me at amycommonsensesouthern.com.